Welcome to CSL TV. I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is just a review, a reaction, an informational channel. Hopefully, the informational part help you and someone out. And we're just going to watch some videos and talk about them. And if you've been rocking with me, I just got to say thank you so much for rocking with your boy. Because you could be watching somebody else and you decide to stay here and chill with CSL TV. Now, I don't want to make this intro too long because we got so much catching up to do. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. Let's get it. A Marine was taken into custody after a missing 14-year-old girl was found inside the barracks of a military base. She was discovered by military police on June 28th inside Camp Pendleton, more than two weeks after her family reported her missing. A photo shows the Marine being taken away. We still don't know the Marine's name or how he's involved. In a TikTok, the teen's aunt said she believes her niece was being sex trafficked. Due to her age, she could not have given this consent. Family members also said the girl has a learning disability and has run away from home before, but always came back. NCIS said they don't comment on ongoing investigations, but the local sheriff's department and San Diego Human Trafficking Task Force are helping with the case. The teen's family is calling for a transparent investigation. We hope you would join us in calling and demanding both release of details as well as the pursuit of justice. So you mean to tell me this guy actively in the military kidnapped a teenager fucking had her for two weeks and nobody knew nothing about it like how in the hell you have that type of mental capacity to even put yourself in those type of situations where you about to do some time my boy it ain't like you about to just go get a little pat you know what i'm saying on the back for capturing and rescuing someone no you was a motherfucking predator the kidnapper all that negative shit that you know what I'm saying, terrified this girl, and then for you to prey on somebody who mental capacity is nowhere near yours. I hope they fucking give his ass to 15 years like they be doing these other child predators. I try to get him off of me. I push him back, and then I slam my hand into his face. When danger comes knocking, most of us run the other way, but not these people. Today we're watching five heroes who fought off their attackers. Number five, Night Shift Nightmare. It's 3 a.m. at the Home to Suites Hotel, and the female night clerk is doing paperwork while this man is creeping around looking for his target. Just as the clerk leaves for the bathroom, he attacks her. Alleged defendant grabbed her around the shoulders, attempted to drag her into a bathroom while wearing a ski mask. Moments later, she manages to take off his mask and runs after him, exposing his face to surveillance cameras. Not planning to give up, the suspect comes back, but the clerk bravely chases him off again. Thanks to the victim's quick thinking, the police were able to identify the suspect, Zachary Person, who is a registered sex offender. This defendant does have an extremely extensive history of this type of behavior. Person was charged with attempted sexual assault and false imprisonment. He was sentenced to 15 years number four oh, man he got lucky he only got 15 years he should have got life for that just for the simple fact you a registered you know what i'm saying sex offender and you still out here doing that type of crime like you just need to be put away for life because you was clearly showing you don't need to be out here with the rest of us because you want to be taking things against other people you know what i'm saying and you out here just thinking you can do whatever you want to anybody any type of women like well he's targeting women but you never know you know what i'm saying these type of people you just got to be careful number four you picked the wrong person this surveillance footage captures a man following a 13 year old girl home and things quickly took a turn for the worse just as she was about to close the door he forced himself in i push him back and then i slam my hand into his face and that's when he decides to get off of me he was later identified as mohammed kaliki apparently this wasn't his first time following and assaulting a woman he was arrested and charged with several counts of burglary, attempted sexual assault, and false imprisonment. Charges could add up to a life in prison. Number three. Now this is the type of stuff all these type of folks need to begin. Just for the simple fact, they are repeated offenders, which means they didn't learn the other times they got caught up into this type of stuff. So why is they even given that possibility of being able to come out and do it again? Now I understand you got to do what you got to do because in the justice system, I believe there are steps. But when it comes to stuff like this, the step, the, the next step, the second time is life. It shouldn't be no years put into it. 
Just a faux letter words. Number three, Saved by Instincts. 11-year-old Alyssa Bonal is enjoying a peaceful day when all of a sudden a car parks nearby and a man armed with a knife runs out of it, attempting to carry her away. Will I die today? Will I get to live the rest of my life? With fast reflexes, Alyssa trips him over and runs away. During the attack, Alyssa intentionally smears slime on the suspect for evidence. We watch the show's Law & Order Special Victims Unit, and one thing is in them so they're always talking about if they would have left evidence. Thanks to the girl's smart move, 30-year-old Jared Stanga was later arrested and sentenced to 15 years in prison. He's obviously a threat to this community. Number two. Bro, here we go with another 15-year sentence. Get this guy life, man. He had he had a knife on a kid trying to abduct a little girl. You know what I'm saying? He posed more than just a threat to the community, so he should be enjoying the new community he can, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna put that, say that, because it's very negative, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. People like this do not deserve that chance. Just for the simple fact, you putting yourself in those situations. So it's not like, you know what I'm saying, you, uh, dang, my lighting went off. So it's not like, you know what I'm saying, you just was somewhere at the wrong time and then some crazy shit happened. No, you putting yourself in those situations. Number two, the power of teamwork. Welcome to Toledo, Ohio, where even the gas station attendants are badasses. In this wild encounter, a man decides to make a move on the woman behind the register. Big mistake. Her fellow worker grabs the closest weapon and starts beating the man with it. Just when the suspect thought he could scooch off the counter, another man steps in and tugs him back in place. Finally, the suspect runs away. Police say he made off with $500 in cash, but thanks to the quick thinking and bravery of these gas station attendants, nobody was seriously injured. The suspect is still at large. Number one. Now I wonder, now I got some light. Now I wonder where this happened at to be honest i want to know where uh this guy got away with 500 dollars. his face and everything is all on the camera y'all so it's like how did they not have a sketch or some of who this guy is like is he really that god dang smooth and he just grooving and smoothing and where he can do this type of stuff even though there was brave people there where like what's going on with this you know he didn't even have no COVID mask on. He didn't even have the little young kid ski mask. You know, none of that shit on. So what is going on with that situation? Number one, small but mighty. A nine-year-old girl in West Palm Beach shows off her fighting skills when a violent attacker came after her mother. And let's just say, this little girl was not playing around. He tried to grab my purse, he'd take off running, and we struggled over the purse, he pushed me down to the ground. The suspect was arrested two days later and was charged with robbery and battery. Journey gets recognized by the police for her brave actions. And, uh, I don't know, I think she hit him pretty hard. <laughs> Now that just to show y'all on some on some of the stuff, the comments I've been reading on some of my videos, and some of y'all be saying that you should mind your business and don't step in. This little girl just showed more bravery and heart than some of y'all folks that would have just turned y'all face. You know what I'm saying? Like her mind was being attacked. Dude was trying to take the purse. She ain't go screaming like a little kid, none of that. She straight went heroic on the you know what i'm saying guy was trying to rob him so y'all need to do better that's all i'm saying we all in this world together we all create whatever in the you know what i'm saying universe you know what i'm trying to say i'm not going to detail we're all adults here according to this karen all mexicans are low class i hope this video is found by our co-workers family and friends Acting like this at a family barbecue with children is absolutely disgusting. The woman has since been identified as an art consultant and feng shui expert in her late 40s. And an art gallery she used to work for posted a statement on Twitter stating they have not employed this individual for over five years and they condemn any actions or statements expressing hatred or racism. Footage was also posted of the woman being spoken to by police 